Hi friends, it's me, Miss Bambi. I'm going to do the Sunday School lesson with you today, and I want to um, talk a little bit about uh, what you did last week. Uh, first of all, I want to show you something. Do you know what this is? It's a rooster. And what sound does a rooster make? Cock-a-doodle-doo! Roosters are very loud for a reason. They want to get your attention. The story we're going to read today has a rooster in it talks about Jesus. I want to go back a little bit though before we get started and talk about something that happened right before our story. Last week Mr. Toby talked to you about when Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane and he prayed and he talked to God. Before they went into before he went into the garden, he was walking with his disciples and he told them that he was going to be leaving and he told them that they were going to leave him. They were going to abandon him. And they said, no, no, we're not going to do that. We love you. And Peter told him, Peter spoke up and he said, Lord, I will never leave you. I will go to prison with you. I will go to death with you. I love you. And Jesus looked at him and he said, Peter, before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. Now, Peter didn't like that. He did not want to believe that he would do that. And so our story picks up after Jesus has been in the garden for a while. And he's already come out a couple of times and found the disciples sleeping because they were so tired. And he has wakened them up and asked them to please keep praying. Now the third time he comes out, um, they're asleep again. And our story picks up there. It's in two places in the Bible, in the New Testament, in Matthew and in Luke. And we're going to read the one in Luke, chapter 22, and it picks up at verse 47. And while Jesus was talking to the disciples, saying, they're here, they didn't know what he was talking about, a crowd came up. And the man who was called Judas, one of his twelve disciples, was leading them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When Jesus' followers saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, should we strike with our swords? And one of them struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his right ear. But Jesus answered them, No more of this. Stop. And he touched the man's ear and healed him. And then Jesus said to the chief priests, the other temple guards, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me. But this is your hour when darkness reigns. And then seizing him, they led him away and took him into the house of the high priest. Now when this happened, the disciples didn't understand, and they were afraid, and they ran away. But Peter followed at a distance. And when the people outside had put a fire in the middle of the courtyard and had sat down together, Peter sat down with them. And a servant girl saw him seated there in the firelight, and she looked at him really closely, and she said, This man was with him. But Peter denied it. Woman, I don't know what you're talking about, he said. And a little later, someone else saw him and said, You are also one of them. And again, Peter said, I am not. And about an hour later, another person said, This fellow was with him. He's a Galilean. And Peter said, Man, I don't know what you're talking about. And just as he finished speaking, the rooster crowed. Cock-a-doodle-doo! And the Lord turned, and he looked straight at Peter. And Peter remembered the word the Lord had said to him, Before the rooster crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. How did Peter feel? Sad. He wept bitterly. That means he cried really hard. Now that's a sad story. It's very sad because Peter didn't think he would ever be able to do something like that. Did Peter love Jesus? Of course he did. Did Peter think he would ever say he didn't know Jesus? No. Did Jesus know what was going to happen? Yes. How does Jesus know that? Who knows everything? God. And Jesus is God. So when they led Jesus off, what did all the disciples do? 
they ran away. But Peter followed at a safe distance so they wouldn't see him. Why did he stay back? Because he was afraid. He didn't know what was going to happen to Jesus. When he got there, and he was watching, and they made a fire out in the courtyard, and he sat down. Did other people recognize Peter? They did. They were saying, you're one of him. You look like one of his men. And how did Peter answer when they said this? He said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I am not. Was that the right thing to do? No. Was Peter telling the truth? No, he wasn't. What would you have done if you were Peter? Would you have told the truth, not knowing what was going to happen? How many times did people ask him? Three times. And what happened when he said the third time, I don't know him? The rooster crowed. Did Peter hear it? Yes. Yes, we talked about a rooster crows really loud. And as soon as Peter heard it, he remembered what Jesus had said. And Jesus turned and looked at him. And he ran away and said, I don't know what to tell. I don't know what I don't know what I've just done. And he cried. He cried because he was so sad. Can you think of a time when you've done something bad like that? And you felt really bad about it? Can you think of a time when you wanted to do what was right, but you didn't? What is that called? It's called sin. Why are we like that? because we're all sinners. What if you pretend that you never sinned and you fooled everybody? Can you fool Jesus? Can you fool God? No. How does God feel about sin? He hates it. He doesn't like it. And what does a sinner need if he wants to be with God? He needs a savior. He needs someone to take his sins away. He needs forgiveness. And who came to save us from our sins? Jesus did. Jesus is our Savior. He came and saved us. Let's say a quick prayer. Let's say a quick prayer, and we will be done with our Sunday school lesson. Okay, so bow your heads, and let's just say a quick prayer. Sorry about that. Father, please be with the children as they go through their days, and help them to be aware that the, that, that the devil is trying to tempt them to do the wrong thing, just as he did to Peter. Help us to not be afraid. Help us to be brave and to do the right thing, even when we don't know what's going to happen. Help us to always, always count on Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys. Have a great day.